in. What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? What's percolating? What's really good? In the hood? It is your man, Theo Butler. Happy 2023 to you. And what's up? What's good? What's poppin' to the world with me? Man, y'all play that thing on Come on, man. Y'all play that thing on me. I ain't talk to y'all in a minute, man. Y'all, come on, man. Rock with me, nation. Oh, man. One nation under a group. Getting down just for the fuck of it. One nation. Oh, man. Come on. We y'all, man, y'all know how we do it. Come on. Happy people. Come on, man. Oh, man. Yeah. Funk with me, somebody. Come on. Man. I'm, I'm, I'm just glad. I'm glad. We had a... Uh, Shout out to y'all, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm elated. We had a Twitter live, not this past Sunday. Oh, Twitter spaces, not this Sunday, but past Sunday. And I can't lie, I was ecstatic. It was a, it was a building bridges. Uh, Black Panther recast the Chala, uh, on a chat with Bozeman, uh, spaces on Twitter, and we had. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to say, I'm happy to say, that black folks were well represented. And when I say black folks, I mean heterosexual, male, female, LGBTQ. We had all of that in that live. Thank y'all so much for coming. Thank y'all so much for participating. Thank y'all so much for understanding that Black Panther Wakanda is all encompassing. I, I love y'all for that. Thank y'all so much for that. And it is with the spirit of that because y'all know we, we keep it a thousand. Black Panther, Wakanda, T'Challa, the Dora Milaje, the Hatu Zaze, we keep it a thousand. Wish we could say the same thing about Marvel. Theo, what do you think? Well, when Chadwick Boseman passed, we heard iconic. His portrayal of the character was iconic in and of itself. He's the only one to play the character live actor. <laughs> Nate Moore, he and Ryan Coogler went on to say, because they capped for females real, real hard. They did in this movie. They wanted to open up the world of Wakanda. T'Challa wasn't the only character in Wakanda. In, in Wakanda, they had other characters in Wakanda. Who all did you get? In Black Panther 2, a movie that was almost three hours long, who all did you get introduced to that was a new character from Wakanda? I know damn near all the men from the previous movie didn't return. Daniel Kaluuya could have showed up, and let me just say this. In regards to Daniel Kaluuya, because people want to say that it was a scheduling conflict. You know what a scheduling conflict is? A scheduling conflict is I got a doctor's appointment. No, let me not do that. I don't want to do that. A scheduling conflict is I have a I like I'll go with this one. A scheduling conflict is this one. I have a meeting with my boss at three o'clock, and I have a parent teacher conference at three o'clock as well, the same day. That's a scheduling conflict. I'm going to do the one that I feel is the most important. Probably going to that parent-teacher conference. <laughs> so Dave Kalua had a choice. He chose to go with the movie that was going to give him more exposure. That was a smart decision. Not the movie that was going to pay him more, but the movie that was going to Give him more exposure. He was looking at the long term. See, he doesn't want to be known because we got Dave Batista right now saying he doesn't want to be linked to the legacy of Drake where he's a buffoon. He doesn't. Y'all look that up. I'll make sure I put the link right here. But that said, what we were told, y'all, some of us believed it, not me, that they were not recasting T'Challa, not just because the character, the actor was transcendent, they used his death to dial black male representation under the auspices that they were going to give you representation with other characters. Well, based on this article from Men's Health Magazine, ironic. Theo, what you mean? Well, Men's Health Magazine is not a black magazine and it's men's health. So it's not women's health. It's catered toward men that embrace their testosterone. Whether you be gay or not, you're embracing your testosterone. That's what men's health is for. Men's Health Magazine is not catered toward women unless these women or men like looking at men who look a certain type of way because that's what's in Men's Health Magazine. <laughs> Some people refer to men's health as soft porn. 
for those who like men that look this way. But in this magazine, we got an article about Marvel, about their lack of representation, or at least that pump fake that they threw the LGBTQ community in regards to Io and Anika. A gay kiss was cut from Black Panther Wakanda Forever script. Nate Moore and Ryan Coogler. Those of y'all in the anti camp, anti recast camp, those are your people. Y'all say trust in Marvel, believe in Marvel. Well, we in the recast camp, we embrace the LGBTQ community because we know that's a part of the Wakanda story. And some of us, not just because it's a Wakanda story, but just because we 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 move past that, we're more mature. My heterosexuality has nothing to do with your sexuality and vice versa. It's a preference, choice, or how we born. But anyway, the movie Same Sex romance ended up getting downplayed in the final cut kind of like how their whole relationship got downplayed in the whole entire movie because y'all were led to believe that they were going to put this out there and they really really did not do a damn thing with it slight spoilers ahead go ahead and read the article i'll make sure y'all got the link in the comment section much of the emotional weight of marvel studios black panther wakanda forever came from grief As the characters and the cast came to terms with losing King T'Challa, no, they didn't come to terms with losing King T'Challa. They came to terms with losing Chadwick Boseman. Following the real world passing of actor Chadwick Boseman. But the film which crowned Letitia Wright Shooty as the next generation of Wakanda superhero, she's supposed to be the queen. But in Baku, it, never mind. <laughs> it was initially intended to predominantly feature a romance between two of its supporting characters, Ayo and Anika. He took Io's part and gave it to Okoye. They did. Damn. In the original script for the movie, which can now be read in full at deadline, Io, Florence Kasumba, offers to reinstate former Dora Milaje combat instructor Anika. She is the Dora Milaje combat instructor. But you didn't get that from the movies that she was the Dora Milaje combat instructor. No, you did not. Because she was answering to Okoye like Okoye trained her, not the other way around. Anyway, after the two warriors reconcile, they share a kiss. You know, they said the same thing about how they was going to have Okoye and, and Io have a kissing scene in, 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 in the first Black Panther movie. My, which is crazy because in the comics, they haven't even established Okoye's sexuality. They haven't. She's not Wakabi's wife in the comics. She's not. He's married, but not to her. He got two sons, too. He do. Ayo made her MCU debut in 2016's Captain America Civil War as one of T'Challa's bodyguards with subsequent appearances in this humble cast of Black Panther and Avengers, Avengers Infinity War. She also showed up in the Disney Plus series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, tracking down Baron Zemo in order to finally avenge King T'Chaka's death. She didn't. See Wakanda, kill any Wakanda, and live to go tell anybody and their mama about it. That's 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 the Wakanda we got. In the comics, see Wakanda and die. In the movies, in the MCU, is see Wakanda, visit Wakanda, kill Wakanda, and nothing happens to you in Wakanda. A long, who's a long-running character in the comics. She is. The nature of the relationship between the two characters was still romantic in the final version of the movie. But shout out to Roxanne Gay. She is the one who wrote the young lady's relationship and everything like that. I think it was a six-issue limited series or something like that. But Roxanne Gay was the one who wrote that. It's called The World of Wakanda. She wrote it along with Tiny Hesey Coates. This is me saying if you want the stories of these two young ladies, you did not get them in the MCU. You can either sign up for Marvel Unlimited or you can go to the comic book store. If you want to have the physical copies in your hand, go to your local comic book store, The World of Wakanda. I will be. I will tell you that Roxanne Gay does more time exploring the relationship between Io and Anika than she does telling a superhero story. So if that's what you're there for, that's what you're going for, go cop that. Go get that. I ain't saying I'm just saying I got it myself. <laughs> Anyway, the nature of the relationship between the two characters was still romantic in the final version of the movie, but the full-on smacker was replaced by Anika kissing Ayo on the forehead. I'm in Florida. I, 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 it's, 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 
too easy for me to know what the LGBTQ community is going through with Governor Ron DeSantis in Orlando, Florida with Disney. It's too easy. And it's easily Googleable. Googleable. Is that a word? Googleable. So what are you looking at right now? Just a lot of talk, a lot of pomp, a lot of circumstance. But when it comes to representation, we talking about representation. Marvel don't give two dams. Two dams. I, I said it once before, I'm saying it again, and it's right here. The proof is in the pudding. You remember the LGBTQ community? You a Black Panther fan? You wasn't satisfied with what you got in Black Panther 2. You weren't. If you a Black Panther fan and you know the relationship between those two young ladies and everything like that, you looking at the movie like. But see, you looking at the movie like that for their relationship. You looking at the movie like that for what they did to Queen Ramunda. You looking at the movie like that for what they did in regards to Shuri and Namor. You looking at that like that in regards to them killing off T'Challa. See, you looking at them like, you looking at them like this. Like, for a whole bunch of reasons that have everything to do with canon. Speaking of canon, um, before we get there, uh, they say a moment of queer affection which was, sent, was still edited out to comply with censorship laws in Kuwait ahead of its release in that region. So, mind you, they did this to appease a country, not the fan base that this character, these characters, this mythology is built on. They got rid of that scene because they don't believe in that in Kuwait. Recast the child because that ain't what we stand for. The LGBTQ community representation in the Marvel Cinematic Universe has long been a point of contention for queer fans. Should be. Because Fastos, y'all still got screwed with Fastos. While the comics are rich in diverse character identities and relationships, the movies tend to shy away from romance as a whole, meaning any same-sex attraction tends to be more implied than depicted. No, no, Brian Tyree Henry, Fasto, kissed his, kissed his husband full in the mouth. With a couple of exceptions. With a couple of exceptions. In Eternals, Brian Tyree Henry's character Fastos was confirmed to be the first openly gay superhero in the MCU. He's not in the comics, though. He's not. Why we chose him? Because you could have made Icarus gay. Why did we choose to make him gay? With the husband played by gay actor Haas Sleeman. See how we're doing this? We're making sure the black superhero is gay. His husband is gay. Brian T. Tyree Henry, you know what he doesn't do? He has not spoke out about his sexual orientation. It's a lot of actors and actresses doing that because they feel like if they do, they might not get a role. They feel like if they do, they're going to piss off either this, either the heterosexual community, or they're going to piss off the LGBTQ community. No, you should be proud to be who you are. Regardless of whether you're heterosexual or gay, you should be proud to be who you are. You should be able to state your sexuality. While it's nobody's business, it isn't. You can still be proud of it. Right? Right. Elsewhere, the deleted scene from Thor Ragnarok will have revealed that Valkyrie lost a lover who was a woman, a fact later confirmed in Love and Thunder. Real crazy how we don't mind how we'll hide the women, the black women their gayness, but the black man, no, we're going to put that front center. Don't don't say, Theo, you're making too much of it. No, I just read you the article. I know Valkyrie is gay. Just like I know Anika and Ayo are gay. Just like I know Fastos is married to a, he's a heterosexual, married to a white woman. I know that. This is not going to do that for you. Why? Why do females have to be the scene is either deleted or she's kissing on the forehead. But with the male, we got the black male. We got the black male, Sudanese male. We still got the kiss in the mouth. But we're talking about representation. Accurate representation. Fair representation. Meaningful representation. And when I say meaningful representation, it's not something that's just done for an hour and 45 minutes. It's not something that's done for two hours and 55 minutes. It's something that transcends time. 
I you I O and Anika have been gay since Roxanne Gay wrote it that way. They not changing. They not. I know we don't too particularly give two dams about uh John Ridley, but John Ridley is the first person to establish Shooty's sexuality. She's heterosexual. She's gonna be that way unless things change like they did with Bobby Drake, Iceman, which changed that back. Ch change that back. Like we're not doing that. And we don't have to do that. We have enough characters in Marvel Comics for every demographic. We just got to get the MCU to give us those stories. Give us the stories that we deserve and not the stories they want to give us. There is a difference. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Listen, I appreciate y'all rocking with me. I do. I do. But y'all see how they doing us? Now, I say us. I say us. Because this Black Panther community, this the Wakanda community, we all in this together. See how they do us? They won't even give us our stories right. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Before y'all go, man, make sure y'all hit like, share, subscribe. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Peace.